Welcome back to Teach Amanda Fish Channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about homemade dill pickles and lacto fermentation. Let's go ahead and get started. So the cucumbers that we're going to be using are a pickle bush variety. I don't particularly like vine varieties coming out of the garden, but if you don't have a garden, by the way, my wife's gonna kill me for putting that in there. She'd just gotten out of the shower. Love you, hun. You can run to your grocery store and pick up whatever variety of pickle cucumber they have there. Usually that would be a Kirby. First step is to get a gallon of water poured. And by the way, I'm on well water, so I have no chlorine. On your city water, you can't use that because that will kill the good bacteria in your pickle mixture. If you want some more gardening videos, there's a link to a playlist above. Pour off a little bit of that water, warm it up because you're gonna use that to dissolve your salt in. You can't just use your normal salt for this. I like using kosher salt, but you can use sea salt or even things that are directly labeled pickle salt. For a full list of the ingredients, look down below. It'll be described there. While that's heating up and that salt is dissolving into the water that we poured off, we'll go ahead and get some garlic prepped up. We use whole cloves. When making homemade dill pickle, your imagination is really the limit of the flavors that you like. I like a little bit spicier pickle, so you'll see in that recipe some peppers. So we've combined that salt water in with the main gallon, and this is where we go ahead and get our ingredients together. I like to use a commercial spice, it just makes it a little bit easier. I throw a little bit of extra bay leaf in, and we'll go ahead and get those pickles prepped. They get a good washing, and then it's critical that you cut off the blossom end of the pickle. That makes a little rotten spot or a squishy spot when you start the pickling process. You'll notice here that I'm actually using what a plain old cookie jar. I like to be able to watch what's happening in the jar. You can go ahead and use a dedicated fermentation crock that limits the amount of oxygen that gets into your pickle. This is an anaerobic process. I found that a standard cookie jar with the lid, and we'll talk more about that later, how I set that up, but it does an adequate job of keeping the oxygen out of the pickle process. And by the way, so you're aware, the equipment that we use in this video, you can look down below and there will be some Amazon links where you can purchase what you see. Well, that was the dill weed going in. Normally I get that out of my garden, but I didn't have it timed right. That dill in the garden isn't mature, so I had to buy some but that's the backup star for this show. You're definitely gonna wanna pack these in tight. That keeps them down below the surface where that anaerobic bacteria can do its job. I've been asked before how lacto acid fermentation works. It's actually healthy bacteria that creates an environment that pretty much is acidic and it crowds out the bad bacteria that would make us sick. And because it's that healthy bacteria, it's actually a flavor that we enjoy. It imparts kind of a tangy taste. If anybody ever asks, are homemade dill pickles good for you? Absolutely, they impart a probiotic into your digestive system. So there we just added a half cup of vinegar in. We'll go ahead and add our gallon of the salt mixture into this jar. We've got the spices in there. And here we're setting up for the long haul. You can check up above for a video where I make those dried chilies from my garden. You'll notice that we fill that all the way up to the top, right up to the brim, 
that kind of helps create a seal when we put the lid on and hold those pickles down under that water. There's my high-tech method. I just throw a plate under that lid and it kind of pushes down. If we do have any pickles that float up, you'll be able to tell the difference and just discard those when you pull them out of the jar. Here, if you can see, the colors are starting to drop out of the pickle. This is day two. People often ask, why are my pickles cloudy? Is that unhealthy? Is that bad? And we're not used to drinking things like that or eating things like that. But in actuality, that is that good bacteria, that probiotic in the mix. Here we are at day six. Go ahead and pulling off those top pickles. You see that one didn't quite get under the water there. Some people will even go so far as to drink this pickle mixture as a probiotic. If any of you all are interested in purchasing one of these pickle jars, they come in many different sizes. This is the larger of the selection. There's a two gallon jar. That I think they go all the way down to a half gallon. But when I'm making pickles, I make a pile of them. You can look down below in the description. There will be a link to purchase one of these doesn't cost you any more to go through that link and you get the ease of having it delivered right to your front door. You'll notice that I'm putting these into regular canning jars. These aren't actually canned. I'm preparing these to go into the refrigerator, which stops the fermentation process. It's not a very special lid. It just gets screwed on tight. There's nothing further to do with this other than I actually make a new pickle. I like the, the way it looks and the, the presentation of the clear pickle when I re-pour that in. You'll see that in just a second. Another question that gets asked is, how long do these pickles last? I can tell you it's for months, and I'm making these gallons at a time, so it takes a bit of time for my family to eat through these, and some of them I give away, but I've never had them go bad, so I can't tell you exactly how long they last. Just know it is months. I'll say this too, long before there was refrigeration or cooking food, our senses kept us healthy and alive. I trust my eyes, sight, feel, everything to judge whether or not these pickles would be bad. There you can see how cloudy that pickle juice is. Again, that is not healthy. That's that lactobacillus bacteria that is a healthy bacteria for our gut. Here you can see I've made another batch of that pickle. This is a new pickle. I go ahead and pour it in. I think it makes a nice presentation in the jar. Add some more spices and it goes in for the storage. And even with that new pickle in, there's still a little bit of cloudiness that's come off of the pickles in the jar. So YouTube says that this video that's popping up right now is perfect for your viewing habits. This is my latest upload, and over here is a playlist that you just might enjoy. I hope you liked it. If you did, please click like, subscribe, share, and come on back for more.